Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new video right here on Theme Park Insanity. update today Blackpool Pleasure Week have confirmed that Valhalla will face a further delay of five days on its original proposed opening date. Now, Blackpool Pleasure Beach were looking originally to reopen their award-winning Viking water-themed dark ride in time for Easter weekend, so on April 7th. And unfortunately, we've had the news today that Valhalla will in fact reopen for its technical rehearsals on the 12th of April. So today's news comes following a lot of speculation as to whether or not the park would in fact manage to reopen Valhalla for the Easter weekend. And although we know staff have worked tirelessly to try and make it happen, unfortunately it does look as though it will be opening up on the 12th of April instead of the 7th as previously uh, estimated. But of course, you know, we did book a visit for Sunday in the hope that we would manage to get on Valhalla. This hasn't really sort of dissuaded us from going. We still want to get back to the park. There's a lot more at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, of course, apart from Valhalla, uh, mainly Icon and the Big One and Ghost Train and all those rides, and we absolutely love them. So, in all fairness, as much as we are disappointed we won't be getting on Valhalla this coming weekend, we still can't wait to get back on it when it does finally open from April 12th onwards. But when, in fact, will we actually be visiting to re-ride Valhalla following this delay? Well, let's talk more about that. So following today's news, there's no doubt that April 12th is going to be a very busy day on park for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And no doubt every man and his dog will now be booking tickets in the hope that they'll be able to ride Valhalla on that day. So it's going to be an absolute vlogger and influencer frenzy on the 12th of April. Therefore, we will plan to visit at a slightly later date. Now, when that will be uh, at the moment, we don't know for sure. But of course, we will be back within the next few weeks, hopefully during the week when the schools are back, to actually go and jump on Valhalla and get our first rides. Now, yes, we're not going to be able to bring you an opening day vlog for the attraction. And yes, it, we will be waiting a little bit of a while to share our thoughts. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be any less exciting for us. And of course, that doesn't mean that we're not going to enjoy it just as much as we would have done if we had visited on its opening day. So needless to say, we're still very excited to get back on Valhalla as soon as possible. And as soon as we do have a date confirmed for that, we will share it right here on Theme Park Insanity. Before we wrap this up, let's talk a little bit about what you can potentially expect from this new version of Valhalla. Well, it's believed that they've updated the effects, they've updated the storyline, they've updated the soundtrack and so many more other things as well. And they've really modernised Valhalla for a brand new generation of rider. Now, of course, it does mean that Valhalla's legacy will be secure with the park for a good amount of time to come. And it does also mean that we have a brand new ride to experience effectively. I'm very excited. Now, with this, we would expect to see updated effects, uh, an updated storyline, obviously, kind of sort of showcased within that. Um, and just an overall kind of more modern feel to the ride we do know that the fire room and the ice room and all those sort of features are still going to feature within the ride that's been confirmed by blackpool pleasure beach themselves but yeah it's going to be a great ride and there's every sort of chance that you're still going to get just as wet if not absolutely drenched as you did before but let's hope those boats have been redesigned to kind of sort of manage the excess water better and just create a much more pleasant experience as a whole so there you go valhalla officially delayed until the 12th of april and I mean, let's face it, you know, it was inevitable in a way. It's faced so many setbacks over the years, so many obstacles. And in all fairness, it's been shut now for nearly four years. So, I mean, there was every chance it was going to face further delays. But regardless, at the moment, they are planning to reopen it on April 12th. And we really hope it happens. We really, really do. But I would like to know your thoughts below about today's news. Do you think it's a good thing they've delayed it? Or do you think they should have still gone ahead and tried to reopen it on the 7th as they've originally planned to do so? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. But for now, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on those notifications. And again, if you have, smash the like button and let me know. It's always really appreciated. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity. And I will see you all very soon indeed. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.